And now, it's time for a local lad. He's the star of such movies as 300. This is Sparta! P.S. I love you. I have a plan. I've written you letters. Letters that will be coming to you all sorts of ways. Now you must do what I say, okay? And the bounty hunter. You are a bounty hunter? Yep. As much as it pains me to say this, I gotta take you to jail. He's from Paisley. His dad was a bookie. And he's apparently quite good with the ladies. <whistles> ladies and gentlemen, it's Gerard Butler. Hi, Gerard. Hey, how are you? Oh. <laughs> She's just fallen on the floor, Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I, I just called you up to give you my number because I heard you wanted it. Oh, <laughs> thank you. That was me that was after your number, Gerard. It wasn't it oh, her. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> let me take that back. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've been talking about you this week because, uh, well, you've been all over the papers here um, because of uh, Julie. Yes. Mm-hmm. And comments oh. you made about Julie. Right. And you did say that she was the type of girl that you would... <laughs> behind the bike sheds. <laughs> and we should have Julie on the phone just now, do we? Hi, hi, hi Julie! Hi. You're there! So, Gerard, what do you want to say to Julie? Do you want to apologise? or <laughs> Maybe that would be a start. <laughs> Julie knows I was just having a bit of fun. But I called you to say that, Julie. I, I, I know, I know, Gerard, I know. I've told everybody that. <laughs> <laughs> um, here's the thing. This is a late-night talk show in the other side of the world. And I'm thinking, Julie, that people didn't really know who you were. <laughs> it was just a funny, light-hearted story. I mean, we had a big flirt, you and I, and we were always good friends. What are your memories of Julie at school? What was she like? Um, well, she was, without a doubt, the sexiest girl at school. Oh! <laughs> and it's true. Listen, one thing I said on the show was, that's how I learned to flirt. And I don't know if you know this, Julie, but there was a day that you were um, at the top of the stairs looking down, and I said something. You. And I kind of let it linger, and I'd never know. You know, I think we were in second year or something, so we must have been about thirteen. But I said, um, "You're going to pay for that or something." And I looked at you, and you looked at me, and it suddenly became this flirty little smile. And as I said in the show, I went, "Oh, that's flirting!" No, no, I get it. No, I, no, I know how to do it. So that was my thing about the birds and the bees. <laughs> If you had your time now, Jar, right, knowing what you know and knowing who you know, who would you now like to take behind the bike no, sheds? No, listen, this is how I get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you know because you come out with something like that, the audience are listening, go, well, that's a harmless question, that's a fun question. And the next minute, you know, one of those tabloid Scottish newspapers is like, Jerry Butler says he wants to take so and so around the back of the bike sheds. And you go, you can't win. I mean, for this, i got to say, for each movie, we literally do about five, six hundred interviews all over the world, and you answer a, a million questions. And you now got to watch every word that you say because anything can be, you know, twisted or taken. Literally, as you say, irony doesn't work in print. Well, Gerard, if you want, you can you can always mention my name. I don't mind being all over the tabloids. <laughs> if you say you take me behind the bike, bike sheds, that's fine. I don't mind it. <laughs> Well, the tabloids you want to be all over, Lynn, is it? <laughs> Julie, say something. I'm just sitting listening. I can't <laughs> Julie's loving it. Just now. Gerard, where are you just now? Where are you? You're on the phone. Um, I'm in Madrid. Oh, oh, lovely. Well, do you know, back in Scotland, the weather's just awesome here. It's snowing, it's icy, it's freezing. Yeah. It's not I know, good. I, I heard. I um, think I'm going to be back in a couple of days. And It was on CNN yesterday how terrible the weather was in Scotland. So I thought, OK, oh, good time to come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope you bring some sunshine back with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Certainly brought some to Lynn's face this morning. I wish you could see this. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. Sure, I'm so excited right now. But, Gerard, when you come back to Scotland, you should... Um, you should pop into Real Radio. Stop flirting, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> come and see us when you come back to Scotland. All right, are there any bike sheds close to you guys? Yeah. <laughs> the old one. There's a bike right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Jenna, thank you very much for coming on this morning. No problem. Thank Jenna you so Blatt much. And Julie, thank you very much indeed as well for coming on as well. Julie, I'll call you, OK? No, no. <laughs> oh, that is so jealous. Okay, guys. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. There you go. That shut you up now. Oh.